Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. Today it's a special luxury jewelry unboxing. So if you haven't been here before, I film videos on life, fashion, travel, weddings, and a whole lot of fun. So if you like my energy, do hit the subscribe button below so you get to see the rest of my videos. Today's unboxing is a very sentimental and special unboxing. If you've watched my previous videos, um, I did announce that I've gotten engaged to my partner and and um, yeah, it's been a crazy fun time. Uh, we're actually planning a small celebration at the end of this year. Um, and it's really giving me a taste of what the actual wedding planning will be like. We are planning on getting married or having the big wedding ceremony in two years, which might seem like a little bit of a stretch, but considering how everything is with COVID and all that, um, rather have it a little bit further ahead so we have enough time to plan. That being said, today's unboxing is very sentimental because it is a gift from my parents. It is a wedding gift and it is a piece of luxury jewelry, my first piece of luxury jewelry, and it is from Van Cleef and Arpels. I've never bought luxury jewelry before and so I did a lot of research and watched a lot of YouTube videos before deciding on what I wanted. If you're Asian, <laughs> specifically Chinese, uh, when you get married, your parents give a lot of gold jewelry and I am very particular with the 24 karat gold because it's very very yellow um, and it's more of like investment pieces where you know you just keep it because of the value of gold and I wasn't sure if that was what I wanted I'm definitely more into like the lighter gold so like 18 karats or like rose gold jewelry but I didn't know that 24 karat gold is actually really soft I, I just thought it was just like more gold, but it never occurred to me that the more gold components in the jewelry, the softer it is. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot about jewelry during this entire process as well. So when I was looking up um, jewelry pieces of what I would potentially want, um, there were a few things that I kept in mind. Like I wanted to make sure that it was something, because it's so sentimental, I wanted to make sure that it was something that I could keep forever. So it had to be high quality, long lasting. I also wanted something that I could wear day to day. Because it's from my parents and it's so, so special to me, I wanted to make sure that this is something that I could wear every day for the most part. So not too chunky, a little bit more dainty, um, and something that I could pass on to my future daughter. I was very particular with the quality of metal for the necklace as well because I have like very sensitive skin, especially along my neck. And I, <laughs> I always make this joke with Albert saying that I can only wear high-end jewelry. But I really like VCA as a brand. Like I've never felt or tried on VCA jewelry until recently when I was going into the store, but I really like the quality. I think it's very beautiful, it's very dainty. It's a statement piece for those who know about the brand. Kind of like silent luxury. Okay, so now let's just jump into very, very quick story time because the process of finding this necklace was a hoot. It was a flagship store for Van Cleef & Arpels in Vancouver. So I gave them a call and they were completely sold out and on the wait list for the Sweet Alhambra line. Apparently there was a shortage due to COVID and they weren't producing as much as they usually do and there's just like a long wait list. So I was a little bit disappointed, um, but actually one of my friends, uh, Jane, she actually works at Burks in Vancouver and they do carry VCA jewelry there. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just like try my luck and just drop her a message and see if they have anything in store. I feel like it was fate because she responded immediately and she was like, we have one left. So in this bag, the reason it's so big is because Jane added a special little gift for me and ta-da! I love coffee table books. I think they're beautiful decoration pieces around the house. I was so happy when she brought this out. I was like, ah, coffee table look. Velvety texture in the front and like a cloth-like texture throughout the book. It's so pretty. Let's see. I love, love, love these books with illustrations in it. Oh, it's so cool. 
love it and inside the care booklet there is the certificate of authenticity as well as the receipts and then there's a little travel pouch as well that i can put pieces in it is time here is the box okay what a soothing green color can i just say this i'm just gonna take this out is so velvety smooth oh okay so there's a little protective cushion in the front over here and here she is it is the sweet Alhambra necklace with the mother of pearl on yellow gold okay so let's try it on I just love how dainty and just small it is because I didn't want anything that was too flashy so when I first tried it on I have to be completely honest this is after I extended the chain it was sitting above the collarbone like right up here and it was honestly the most annoying thing ever like I had to keep tugging it because I felt like it was choking me and I just I really didn't like the feeling and I knew that I had to extend it or else like I would have to return it because there's no way that I would wear it every single day feeling like it was really just all up in my neck and besides the chain length another one of my first impressions if I'm being completely honest was how small the pendant looked I actually didn't expect the pendant to be this small I actually thought it would be kind of an in-between of this size and the vintage Alhambra um, that being said it's kind of like it kind of grew on me so as i continued to wear it with different outfits i was like okay this is actually a nice size for day-to-day -day wear anyway i do in the future would like the vintage alhambra but i think perhaps in a in a brighter color because i do think that the vintage alhambra is a little bit more of a statement piece and you'll notice when i do the close-up shots that you can see the, there's a little bit of a raised of the gold border around the mother of pearl which helps protect the pendant itself which is great as well so it's less susceptible to any sort of damage really really enjoy how it looks i think on camera too that now that i'm looking at it it looks very cute very dainty adds a little bit of shine and um, it's very very special and i hope you enjoyed this very special video unboxing of my first fine jewelry piece in my collection from vca if you haven't done so already do hit the subscribe button below so you get to see the rest of my videos until next time my loves have a great day bye